Lucy folks, how you doing? Matt back again for another quick video. You know, a lot is to be said about the way driving makes people feel. So what better place to start for, uh, yeah, maybe for learners, but for all kinds of drivers really. I know all types of different drivers at all types of different stages in their life. Where driving bothers them, they'd rather somebody else drive. Don't like driving in busy places. And, and ultimately, what is that? Is it a lack of skill? Um, probably not, it's probably a lack of confidence. Probably the way it makes them feel. And, and what I wanna do, as part of my mission on this YouTube channel, is I want to, I wanna dive deeper on this. I wanna, I wanna try and find out what it is and where it stems from. Here's a car park. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to I'm going to enter a number of car parks, and I'm going to, going to just share what's on my mind and what I'm doing with my speed. So the first thing is I'm looking. I'm staying in second before I up my speed and go into the next gear, and I'm looking for heads. I'm looking for bodies. I'm looking for people. I'm going left at the roundabout. I'm going to cost it's a yellow. So I can already have a look at the drive-through and sort of have a look at as long as I don't look too long. Have a look at the busyness. Put down. Uh, and then we're going to turn left. So again, looking over before we get there. Second gear should be fine. Now, there's somebody sat in there. There's, the wheels aren't moving. The engine doesn't see him on. There's no movement here from any of these cars. So everything appears to be okay. But it's turning here in second. I hope I've got my wallet. It's always worth checking you've got your wallet, isn't it? This is always interesting. I'm going to give you a top tip. Look how narrow this is. You all have been hitting your back tires and stuff off the curb here. What you want to do is you want to clear the, the curb edge on the inside here. There's nothing behind me, by the way. So you want to come past and then steer. Yeah, so that makes that back inside tire clear. Clear that curb. Yeah, same here. Get a bit of width and then steer back in, clearing again that back inside tire. And I don't even know what I want here. Let's have a look. Hello, welcome to drive through. What can I get for you? Hello. Do you do oat milk? We do do oat milk, yeah. Yeah. Can I have. Oh, God, what did I used to have? It's been that long. Uh, can I have a cappuccino, cappuccino please? Yes, uh, me... um, medium size. Yes, okay. please. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Cheers. Anything else, though, mate? No, that's it, thanks. No, that's just around one, too. Awesome. So, here, looking at this bent, look. You don't want to steer too early, that's why, I mean, look, somebody steered too late there, you see the ding on the post. But you want to come straight, and you think of the clear it, and then steer. Yeah, clutch in here, just controlling the speed. Make sure you can reach as well here. So it's just clutch control the whole way. Only using the brake now. Right then. Let's see. So yeah, they're a bit like those old side streets with the really sharp corners at the end. Medium oat cappuccino, you yeah. my card? Yeah. They are both, thank you. Any chocolate on top? Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah. Everyone looks happy in there. I can't really see the faces, they're all masked up. I mean, everybody's got their own opinion on all what's cracked off, but it's not thrilled me in the least. And I'd much rather see them without them bloody things over the face, to be honest. So yeah, just on the way to a lesson, I'm looking forward to it. As I said, I hadn't seen Tia for ages. Um, if I have time as well, I'm gonna have this banana before I have a lesson. I'm pretty, pretty hungry, I thought. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, again, no rush. Have a look around, yeah? Have a look around. And again, not too late, but later than what you think. Now, based on the arrow there, 
and based on the position I'm going to be in, I've got to go through this car parking space and then turn out the other one. If that's saying in, the other one's going to be out, isn't it? So he said, and this is the thing, I can't really, it's all right me seeing right and left, but what about around there? So I've got to look, I'm going to go over, nothing's coming here, 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 here. What's coming and turning in on me? Nothing. Anybody in this car? Anybody in this car? Clutches back down. Clutches down the majority of the time. I don't know if you've noticed during this little recording. And I'm looking through the glass, making sure I've cleared the bonnet with my... I think your shoulders is a good one. You know, when you're past it, normally that's a good reference. Let's go left. And again, these corners, these curbs here, super, super duper sharp. So again, pass, and then put loads of steer on to counter it. On roads like this, when you pull out, when the curbs are almost a right angle, you can't really pull out when somebody's coming. These speed bumps then, I think even tick over in gear two is a bit quick. What's that, eight mile an hour? It's that trade-off, isn't it, between being uncomfortable, bad for the car, and making progress. I think it'd be as rocky in first. They're just the nature of these bumps is. And I don't know if you've seen my feet still, they've just been like in that V shape the whole time, like I'm ready to go back on the gas, but not yet kind of thing. I am now. So I hope that little demonstration was useful. Um, driving into a car park, a lot of it is being basing your speed to allow time to think and always being ahead of yourself. Now what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to go in many, many more car parks. I'm going to try and out as many different scenarios as is possible. So for now, I'll see you in the next one.